All right, so this uh, this video is dedicated to why you should degree in your camshaft. We were uh, going back and forth on this motor because the numbers aren't adding up. So I even went so far as to buy a really big degree wheel. So the, so the precision would be on point. So we have it at top dead center, number one piston. And this call, this cam card calls out a 106 intake center line angle, which is right. Did you calculate something to get to 106? No, it's the manufacturer tells you what's intake. Is it on the paper? What the intake center line is ground on. Oh, okay. Is it said there? It says intake center line and it doesn't say it. Oh, really? Yeah. What the hell? So you just know? Well, typically it's like 108, 106, 110. How's it blank? Intake center line. It says at, it's supposed to be, whatever. Then it mm -hmm. says intake center line, it's nothing. That's, what the hell, dude? That's retarded. Where do I see 106? Um, I see 107. That's uh, that's the uh, lobe separation. separation. Yeah, lobe separation angle. I thought I could have swore I saw it. So here we go. So for example, we have our uh, our cam card, and it suggests we install the cam at 106 degrees intake uh, center line. However, okay. our cam card does not say that. However, again, it's going to be within one 110, 108, 106 in that range. So notwithstanding the fact that that doesn't say that, that's fine. So let's go ahead and degree the cam in and see what the numbers say. So, so we have a general range of what it's supposed to be, but it's not even close to that. It's like in Mars, right, yeah. basically. So go ahead and go through the motions. And we're gonna, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the peak lift of the number one uh, intake valve. So you wanna zoom in here real quick? So basically, when that needle uh, peaks out, then that's gonna be our intake center line uh, max lift. It's not starting to move. And this is just designed to get you close. The real measurement is when you measure on both sides of the um, the uh, the lobe. There it goes. That's it. Okay. So then. Now you're gonna move it forward and you're gonna to go to 20 before it hits zero. So you're gonna go until it hits the 80. Yeah. So right now we got like 20. That's 80. So it's saying we have 24 degrees. So I'm gonna take that number here. I'm gonna write it down, 24. Okay. So you're okay. gonna keep going past zero and then you're gonna to go to 20 on the other side of the zero. Okay, In the same direction, way. yeah, same direction. Past zero. And past zero. Okay, so we have 80, mm -hmm. so it's at 80. So we'll take 80 here. So 80 plus 20 is 104, right? Mm -hmm. So 80 plus 20 80 is 100. plus 24. Oh, 24. 80 plus 24 is 104. Yeah. You, you take those numbers, you add them together, right? It's 104. And then you divide it by two, yep. which is gonna be uh, 52, mm -hmm. right? So we're supposed to be at 106, right, 52. So which is about that, what we got last time. It's not even close. Mm -hmm. Like there's like close between like where you are you and I are <laughs> and there's close like in a different county. So And the, we're at a we're at a different county? We're in a different freaking planet. Mm -mm. I mean so what we noticed is that when the intake valve actually started to open, the piston was like it, it was it uh, was like quarter way at the cylinder. It was at seventy degrees. So like somebody right forty two. Yeah. Yeah, the opening valve angle is supposed to be 42 degrees. It was at 70. So the duration at 50 is the measurement, and it said it should be at 42 degrees of crim uh, the crank, right? Yeah, expression crank shaft degrees of so, rotation. Yeah, yeah, so when we did that, when we put it at 50, it was on the on the wheel, it said 70. It was like 70-something, and it should have been 42. So, so what's going on? So, anyway, that's, this video is just for this okay. uh, because it's really important. And uh, I don't think uh, I don't think most people do this. I mean, machine shops sure probably do, but 
I just think people are slap cams in. And like I said, I think... Especially with the LS stuff. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people just slap, slap them in cam. cam and uh, one of our good buddies, Matt, he actually had this problem. They ground the cam on the wrong, um, a wrong um, angle. So he had some issues. Um, yeah. So it's one of those things that you have to be aware of. It doesn't happen very often. Most people get away with it. But uh, sometimes you have to degree the cam in just so you can retard or advance it to get... The right valve, uh, the piston clearance. So, anyways, I don't make the video too long. Um, but yeah, that's what this is. This one, that's what this is about. Uh, but I do like the new, new uh, debris wheel. <laughs> nice. We'll help you guys for the future. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. All right. All right, Mr. Andrew, what you got going on? Just checking the piston and valve clearance. Um, so we degreed in the cam last, um, but now I'm just. Checking the piston and valve clearance with the uh, the gaskets that are that we're actually going to be using. Nice. Any uh, findings uh, thus far? Did you do the intake yet? Yeah, intake's good. There's no. Uh, it's like not even close. So we're like 80, 90, 100? Um, it's more than that. Okay. All right. So um, so yeah. So you got um a ton of it. It's probably, it's, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, no, it, 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 I just I just need to know what it is. Okay, cool. Or how close it is, but it's um, yeah, no, it's good to go. It's very far. Okay, so. cool. All right, well, I, I like those rockers you got. Yeah, they're nice, nice rockers. You got like a LS type of setup. Yeah, it looks like we have a whole set here. A whole nice set. So these are really nice. So these are really nice. Stainless steel too, so they won't break. Yeah, no. High endurance. Okay, it's a cool update. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll check back in. All right, we've got Andrew. What are you gonna show me? There's sand in this um, this bolt hole for the oil pump. Oh, you can see. That was just a little bit that came out, but there's when you grab it. I did. Yeah, it's like it's sand. How deep is it? Um, not that deep. Okay, let me look at it and see. Looks like when they built the motor, I don't know, it's weird. Interesting. It's for sure it's sand. It's like when they, if they be blasted the block, maybe they didn't clean it? Yeah. Well, hopefully, um, I'm mean, not hopefully, but I think it's a blind hole. It is, I think it's blind. It, it only, about that deep. Yeah. Dude, here I feel like it sounds like hail. It is hail. Um, it's a, looks like it's a, it's hailing outside. Oh, see the uh, lightning? Yeah. Crazy. It's only my shirt up when I started up. That was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Mom said it was raining like, uh, sorry, storming when she was coming home. Yeah. Interesting. Whoa. Well, let me know when you clean, when you get it cleaned out, so we can see the, the base of it. All right. All right. So Andrew just finished um, shimming the uh, cam, so it has about fifteen thousandths of uh, in play. Cam gears on, lock tightened on. Timing uh, the crank gears on. Um, the new rockers are on. We took those um, the uh, scorpions off because it had a, a three eighths stud um, hole in it, and these are seven sixteenths. So the heads are mounted. They're torqued down. Uh, lifters are in. So basically, we're um, we're made pretty good progress. Uh, the, the pants still off. So the next thing that's going to happen is the intake will go on, and then the front cover will go on. Um, and then the um, maybe even the valve covers and then we'll stab the distributor and then lift the motor up and then um, put the pan on and all those other things so got a new balancer so yeah this is kind of pretty good rock rooms are really nice they're stainless so making they can, progress uh, yeah making progress we're making progress little by little all these brackets are not going to go back together so because he got a nice billet one so we'll have to take all that stuff off as well but yeah, we're making making progress. So, 
And they've also worked on the Camaro today. We basically, let me show you what we do over here. So, good deal of rockers here. Scorpions. Those are good rockers, just wrong size. Um, worked on the Bronco, that power chain out here. Um, I revalved it and um, changed the spring pressure. So hopefully that'll, because it wasn't working. That's what the customer said. So let's see if I can get that fixed and see, I don't know what's wrong with it. But if that doesn't work, then we'll test the actual port side and see if that's the issue. And then the sniper is going to come off. Um, new distributor, new distributor, new sniper, and a pressure regulator, because we're going to take that piece of crap off. And then Bartel did uh, the Camaro. He basically put a new trunk lock. And then new door locks. So uh, that's, we're just kind of chipping away at things. So we're making good progress today. Any questions? Mm. Oh, yeah, and, okay. and I worked on the Mustang. <laughs> you did? Yes, I did. Steering column. Nice. Is uh, not fully mounted, but I need to get a steering adapter. Um, I put the some components on the steering column. So I did that. So I want to get this thing done. So, um, so I'm just going to chip away at it. So we actually worked on all three this one, this one, this one, and that one. That's four. Sorry, four. <laughs> I wasn't counting my time. I have a question. What's three plus one? Three plus one. Seven. <laughs> That's common core. Yeah. So, all right. Nice. But yeah, so. Long day. Long day. But we're good. And I had to mow the grass. Yes, and it looks morning. good, and your wife is happy. Yeah, so we're, we're good. All right, cool.